I'm Judd Snyder, President of BMO Harris Equipment Finance Company and BMO's Senior Executive for Southeast Wisconsin. For almost half of a century, our bank's holiday gift to the community has been its wonderful holiday display, featuring our priceless collection of antique, life-sized, stuffed Stife animals. Some of you might recognize the name Stife from the famous Stife teddy bear that was first available for sale in 1902. But our collection of Stife animals has many more species than just bears. Our holiday display can feature an ostrich, a lion, tiger, penguins, and many, many more. I'd also like to share with you footage of some of our past displays, talk to some of the people responsible for the genesis of the display, see how the display is created, and unveil this year's display, Welcome to Candy Corners. Here's a sneak peek. So how did this collection of animals come about? How did this 48-year tradition of enchanting and thrilling generations of visitors get started? Back in 1972, our bank's then CEO, Jack Puliker, tasked his daughter, Mary, and the bank's director of marketing and advertising, Judy Lepotko, to travel to New York to the world's largest toy store, FAO Schwartz, to buy its collection of Stife Studio animals. But I know someone who can recount this adventure far better than me, and that's Judy herself. And being two young creative types in the early 70s, we conjured up the fact that the lobby was so huge, we'd really want to do something with it. And we went with just that little kernel of an idea to see Jack Puliker, the CEO. And um, he immediately, you know, without hesitation said, oh, you need to put Stife animals in the lobby. He then said, you've got to go to New York. FAO Schwartz has all of the animals we'd ever need. And so he arranged for his daughter, Mary, and I to go to New York for a part of a weekend. When we got to FAO Schwartz, we met the manager. Um, he proceeded to show us all of these fabulous life-size stuffed animals. They're um, straw inside, and they were hand-stitched, all out of mohair. We bought giraffes, and we bought polar bears. We probably bought around 30 animals, actually. Uh, some whole families of animals, like giraffe, giraffe, you know, bear, bear, little teddies. My favorite animal was the polar bear. Um, I, I couldn't get around it. I don't know, there was something huggable, even though he was life-size. He had one more piece that he wanted us to see because we were all so excited about um, the animals, and the piece was in New Jersey. It was a ship that was populated by all these little pirates and uh, animal sailors and uh, all in motion. They had cranes and slides and doors opening up and, and being closed, and the fascination with it was went beyond that because it had originally been in um, the Macy's window as a backdrop in Miracle on 34th Street, the old black and white film. That was the end of our trip. Um, it was stellar. It was obviously very memorable. The display itself um, started out as just something really simple. It started out with animals in the lobby that were decorated with bows and ribbons and, you know, snow hats and, and so it became a real curious thing and people came just to see the animals dressed in bows with snow thrown all around. Over a period of maybe two or three years, um, we got tired of just throwing snow and the packages and we thought there's something more here. So we found a, a gentleman who worked with the theater and we had him do a candy cane house and it was so popular to have that candy cane house um, in the corner of, of the lobby that we thought, well, next year we'll just do more. The animals have actually built gingerbread houses. They've had their own company. We've done some fairy tales, like the old woman in the shoe had the giant shoe with all of the uh, animals populating it. Uh, one year we did a, um, a drive-in uh, that had a diner attached to it and a Harley. They lent us 
motorcycles from their collection for the animals to ride. That was a big hit. We did a spaceship for uh, Close Encounters of the Holiday Kind. So the animals were meeting these robots, robot penguins that were coming down from off the spaceship. The spaceship was perhaps 15 feet circular and had all sorts of crazy lights in them. One of my other favorite ones was the gingerbread house. It was the line of stife penguins at the restroom that were waddling to get in. That was quite humorous. The streets of old Milwaukee was actually a city block. Way back when, um, there was an Art Deco dress shop. So we did this Art Deco dress shop, we did a sporting goods shop, and all of the store windows were loaded with the right things. So we did the Usinger store, and it had you know, the sausages hanging and whatnot. And the uh, focal point when you walked into the lobby was Nimbles. And the logo for Nimbles on all of the awnings on that building, crazy little details, um, was a bear jumping over candlestick. So this was Nimble's department store. It had a revolving door. You know, when we look back at it, we honestly can't believe we did some of the things that we did. It kind of got on a roll. It was always a challenge year after year to see what we could best ourselves with. It took a weekend, Friday through sometimes Monday morning, to set up all of the animals. We had um, costumers in the end, and it's not easy. You have to have somebody who's almost a tailor or a costumer from the theater who can, you know, measure a giraffe and, and a walrus and know how to costume them. It would take a, a large group of people to, to set things up. Even when we were throwing snow around and packages, um, it was uh, a novelty and people wanted to be associated with it. It was a lot of camaraderie. It was so imaginative and so creative. It was um, important in a lot of people's memories. Over the years, families got hooked on it, and the families would come year after year, generation after generation. The schools would come down. They had lunch hour music, a little combo, playing holiday songs. And so it was really a form of entertainment. The holiday display has always been free and open to the public, and uh, it generated a lot of traffic uh, to the downtown area. I was with m and for 33 years, and I did the display for 31. And I met my husband that way. He's the man who built the candy cane house. It was so much fun hearing from Judy about how our bank originally acquired a collection of Stife stuffed animals. So in 1972, we started featuring these animals in our bank lobby. And each year, for 48 years, we featured the animals in a scene with a different theme. Let's take a stroll down a holiday memory lane and virtually visit some of our past displays. My dad's first job out of college was working at the m &I Bank. And after I was born, that very first year, he took me as an infant. It never ceases to amaze me how much this holiday display is a part of the tradition for so many families throughout Milwaukee. This is BMO Harris Bank's gift to the community and being able to put together a unique holiday event for the community each year uh, is something we take a lot of pride in. You 
know, one of the very special times of the year for me for more than four decades has been to see uh, this ex exhibit. Uh, the uh, ability to go and see this visit is sort of the highlight of the year, whether it's my grandkids, my kids. We all are, you know, pressed uh, uh, in, a, in our business world to serve our customers and our clients. But uh, remarkable businesses also have that special attribute of reaching out, helping others, and making us really a better community. And that's what this is really all about, making us a better community. I remember my daughter walking in, she had a Stife bear herself that she loved a great deal. And she saw these huge Stife animals and the huge Christmas tree. And she had this big smile on her face. And I would say the universe was right from then on for her with Milwaukee. When you think about children growing up and how we form these foundational memories, uh, something that we can really associate with strongly with place, the home, where we grew up, uh, like the, the BMO holiday display, it gives us an anchor point in our life. So I think it's really important to Milwaukee that this display has been there throughout the years, bringing joy to different generations. Every year, the creation of the BMO Harris Bank holiday display starts in the summer when the theme is selected. That's when our holiday display consultant, Mark Hare, gets to work to turn an idea into a magical experience. My name is Mark Hare. I'm the display consultant for BMO Harris Bank. I have been here since 2007. The collection is about 250 animals these are some really wonderful stuffed animals made by the German manufacturer Steiff. And in the 70s, when this project started, the original animals were bought in New York and brought here to Milwaukee. And some of them are studio animals, and then some of them are the standard retail type animals that you or I could buy at a store. The owner of FAO Schwartz said that he had these mechanical displays that were part of their older building. They were built to be in the windows of FAO Schwartz in New York City. The owner asked if we would be interested. Of course we were, so we now own three of them. Of course, we have certain favorite animals that we love to see every year and our guests love to see every year. It's like casting actors in a movie or casting actors in a play. We have them all lined up. Who wants to be in the show this year? All the animals are costumed. They're costumed completely different each year. The costumes are removed and donated to a senior center where they uh, repurpose the fabric into stuffed animals for cancer survivors. When we choose our theme, late winter, early spring, I'll start doing some sketches of some rough ideas of what's just sort of ricocheting through my head, you know, and sometimes they're great sketches, sometimes they're eh, not so great, but then once we get some of the ideas solidified, I start working in three dimension and start doing a model of the display. And this year, because we are in a new tower and a new branch, we want to make sure that we were very cognizant of the space. We sort of tailor the theme to that year so that it's really impactful to our community with what's going on right now. We have a list of all the themes we've done since the very beginning. And whenever we start discussing theme ideas in the winter, we make sure that nothing is too similar to what we've done in the past. And if it is going to be similar, we make sure we take a completely different direction with it. We will do construction from late spring all the way through the entire summer.
Friday after Thanksgiving, we will start the installation and that will take Friday and Saturday of that holiday weekend. Due to the nature of what's going on in the world and also our new, our brand new shiny facility, we have a very different space. So we've decided to go with the very old fashioned approach of a window display. This year we're using the windows in both the new branch and our old bank, and we will stretch all the way from Well Street to Mason. It is amazing to know that this tradition has lasted as long as it has in Milwaukee. I have friends who have told me that their parents and their grandparents brought them down to see this and that they're kind of amazed to know that they know the guy who does it because it's such a tradition with families here in Milwaukee. I feel great doing it each year. It's something I'm very proud to be doing this. I'm very proud to be part of this history. This year, we're focusing on the sweeter side of holiday magic. Long before Clement Moore popularized visions of sugar plums dancing in children's dreams, sweet treats have been a part of the tradition of the holidays. And we're really bringing that to life this season with Welcome to Candy Corners. Welcome to Candy Corners will feature our collection of stiff stuffed animals enjoying such traditional sweets as candy canes and gingerbread houses. <laughs> the animals are also enjoying donuts and pretzels. and I, our favorite memory is seeing Dr. Seuss. And it takes us all back to children and that belief and hope that Santa is going to come and make your dreams come true. And when you're walking through these displays, you really go back to your own childhood. It really brings smiles, I think, and, and hope to families, especially this year when it's been very challenging. We can't say thank you enough to BMO for their support to the city of Milwaukee. This year, our holiday display, Welcome to Candy Corners, harkens back to the department store window displays of years ago. The wonderful animals and creative vignettes will be visible from outside, from the sidewalk. No need to go inside a building. We want all of our visitors to be safe. My memories are just, the kids just love it. They just love the animals. And I think that's the neatest part of it is having the animals there. And now you're still gonna be close to the animals, um, but you're gonna be able probably to see even more animals because they're gonna be down the block. So it's gonna be, I think in some ways, even more exciting for kids to have a chance to see these animals. During the holidays, we always value those individuals, those organizations that give back to the community. And once again, BMO Harris is showing its commitment to our community by giving back, by sharing all of this joy with the kids of all ages in the Milwaukee area. At BMO, we're driven by our purpose to boldly grow the good in business and life. And this decades-long tradition of the holiday display is another example of putting BMO's purpose into action. We invite you to visit our holiday display, Welcome to Candy Corners, which will fill the windows of our beautiful new branch at the corner of Water and Wells Street, and will continue down Water Street in the windows of our former bank building. It'll be a full city block of holiday magic. We hope you enjoyed this wonderful visit to this year's BMO Harris Bank holiday display 
and the glimpse into past displays. On behalf of all my colleagues at BMO, I wish you happy holidays and a safe and healthy new year.